Good afternoon. Are we all here? Okay. Thank you for joining us this afternoon uh, where we introduce Mark Melanson to the San Francisco Giants. Um, just want to quickly introduce who we have with us, Giants field manager Bruce Bochi, Mark's agent Mark Pieper, Mark Melanson, Giants Senior Vice President and General Manager Bobby Evans, and Giants President and CEO Larry Bear. Um, we would like to welcome our viewers on CSN Bay Area and those viewing us uh, streaming live on CSNBayArea.com as well as on Facebook Live. Uh, when you will open it up for quick remarks from Bobby, Larry, Boach, and then Mark Melanson, and then we'll take questions. And please use the microphones for the questions. Thank you. Let me start off. So, thanks, Stacey. Uh, this, is, this is a great day for the Giants. Uh, as, as we've said over the last few days, and i um, anxious to get Mark here to uh, meet all of you, um, this is a big move for us uh, for a lot of reasons. I think, number one for me, when we spent the better part of an afternoon together with Mark a few weeks ago, um, it was apparent from you know, the get-go that Mark's very much part of our DNA. Um, he's he is a team oriented person. He's a, a guy that is uh, very much focused on um, um, keeping himself in great shape, and he's a guy that um, really fits into into the uh, sort of the environs of this ballpark and the feeling of this of this team uh, that has uh, that is. Uh, Won three world championships in the last uh, since 2010. So for us, it's it was uh, as Bobby has said, he was our target, and um, we've gotten to know him. And the more we've gotten to know him, the better we felt about uh, about the fact that uh, he was really he's really uh, meant to be a giant. So we're thrilled to have him. Welcome, Mark, and um, and we look forward to uh, a lot of success with uh, with you in the ninth inning, Bobby. Coach, gotta go. Okay. Thanks, Bobby. Um, you know, as we uh, came into the uh, uh, off season, we all knew what our our struggles were last year, and um, you know, and to be able to go out and get one of the uh, premier closers in the game, I can't thank uh, ownership enough. And Bobby, what a great job he did, and. Uh, and to get a, a player, and the numbers speak for themselves on, on what he's done, but just the, the, the person that we got to, Mark, I had a chance to get to know him a little bit uh, in 2011 on the Taiwan trip. And I think from there you went to China. I know yeah. you have, but, um, you know, to, to be able to feel such a need, uh, uh, I couldn't be more thrilled. And I can tell you the team feels the same. They're very excited. Uh, it's just going to allow us, to, you know, to put guys, uh, I think, more in more distinct roles and uh, and uh, I, I've always felt that that you know that closer he really uh, makes the, the rest of the bullpen better. And uh, we all know about our struggles, but uh, uh, Mark's going to stabilize his pen. And um, you know we have a great pitching staff, and he just made the staff so much better. Trust me. And uh, we we could be more excited to have you, Mark and Mary Catherine. Welcome to San Francisco, uh, his wife, and uh, we uh, we're very very excited to have you. With that, let's make a presentation here. You notice the number? So it's quite, quite a legacy to live up to. <laughs> Never put a jersey on this way. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you um, to everybody up here. It's it's been a lot of fun uh, getting to know these guys and and you know playing on the other side. It's I've always had a great respect for the Giants organization and coming up here a few weeks ago and visiting, getting to sit down with Bobby and Larry and 
um, you know, I, they couldn't have reiterated the the things that I thought more than they. I mean, it was just so impressive how much they were all about winning. They were all in, and you know, it's a family-oriented organization, which is very high on my list. So, um, I just want to say thank you to them. All right, let's go ahead and open it up to questions. Again, please use the microphone. Henry? Hi, Mark. Welcome to San Francisco. Um, have you had a chance since you signed to talk not only to Bruce but to Dave Rigetti and Mark Gardner just about um, you know pitching philosophy here, how, how things work, how they like to do things, and how you like to do things? Yes, I've had a chance to talk to those guys, but um, not that in depth. More just, uh, you know, a welcome conversation and make sure we get situated, and we will have follow-up conversations. Carl Stewart from Bay Area News Group. Uh, Mark, uh, have you had a chance to talk with uh, your new teammates or a number of your new teammates, and who have you talked to so far, and, and uh, what have they told you about playing here? That was that was one of the more impressive things that I've I've witnessed throughout this is how many guys have reached out to me in such a short period of time. Uh, I kind of. It, it just backs up what what I thought. Um, the camaraderie in the clubhouse and uh, the close knit clubhouse that they have. There's been about eight to ten guys that have reached out, and you know it's only been 24, 48 hours, so that's pretty impressive. Everybody's been just on the same page, all about winning, and, and very excited, um, very welcoming. So. kind of mentioned this the other day, but could you talk a little bit more about the defense and, and really how that fits with, with what you do? I think you mentioned Crawford and, and Panic. Yeah, those two guys up the middle. Um, being a ground ball pitcher, that, that's kind of an attractive thing to have a couple gold glovers. And then being able to throw to Buster is uh, icing on the cake. So, um, yeah, when you when you put things together on paper and you go, who do you who do you want to throw to, and then have back you up? Uh, this this team stands out. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Mark. Uh, I'm sure you noticed in the World Series, a lot of teams. Uh, well, the Cubs and the Indians, obviously. And since the first uh, parts of the postseason, using their top guys for several innings, you know, Chapman and uh, the lefty from the Indians. Uh, I wonder what do you think about this kind of a philosophy of a closer yeah, going for uh, several innings? And is uh, something that uh, uh, you have done a lot in the past? Are you welcome to doing this, going several innings once in a while? Yeah. Um that was kind of a new thing this year, and, and those guys did a great job. Um, you know, doing that for 162 games is different than doing it in the playoffs, of course, but uh, I'm open for anything. If uh, Any way I can help the team win, I'm, I'm up for and willing to do. Mark, it's often said of closers that they're fearless. Uh, how, how would you describe um, that quality within yourself? I'm sorry, say that again? Just being closers having to be fearless? Fearless, I mean, how okay. would you describe the, uh, the way that manifests itself in, in you? Yeah, you could probably ask my wife that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I tend to be a little bit more fearless just in my everyday life than probably the average person but now that I have three kids I've uh, that's slowed down a little bit um, but I don't I don't think it's 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 a recklessness as a stupidness it's just more of an adventurous than than stupid so um, but definitely my wife has put me on track and kept me straight <laughs> <laughs> 
Southern. Extreme skiing. <laughs> yeah, that's on the bucket list. So, yeah. <laughs> Other questions? Yeah, after you sign, well, very nice contract, of course. But after what uh, the other guy signed, uh, you for a second you thought I should have waited a little more. <laughs> no, I felt like this was um, the the best fit um, from day one. I, I this was such an attractive organization, and and after meeting, like I said, it, it even uh, solidified that even more. So uh, no regrets, and and it's just. Uh, I feel like this was God's plan and it, it worked out perfectly. Henry? Thanks. This question is for both you and for Bruce. What were your first impressions of each other when you did go on that, uh, that trip in Taiwan uh, back in 2011? <laughs> Well, I'll start out. I mean, it, it was, a, you know, it's it, it's a fun trip. You know, you're taking uh, a lot of great players, all stars. Uh, you're seeing uh, a part of the world you've never seen. So, yeah, I think the group really came together. Probably more so players and me with the players. But uh, you know, but and, and it's a short time, but it, it's a fun time. There's not a lot of pressure. I mean, you want to go out and play well, and win, and all that, but. At the same time, it's not a win-all thing, and uh, so I think the group had a good time. We we did a lot of excursions uh, together, and um, but you know I just uh, remember Parker's being a pro and doing doing whatever uh, I needed. Uh, you know, when when you get a chance to, to watch these guys uh, from the same dugout, you, you get even a, a deeper respect. You know how they go about their business. You know, for me, Bruce had a opening talk before we went on that trip in um, in Anaheim and it kind of set the tone for the whole trip it was it was really neat just the amount of respect that he commands and and uh, kind of the quiet um, confidence that he gives off so it was it was a it was a, a really neat trip for me just to see different perspectives different managers and um, I've never heard a bad thing said about um, Bruce, so uh, another additional reason why I really wanted to come here. You've been now for a few years on contending teams and, and haven't had that success in the postseason. How much was that a, a part of the last couple of months trying to find a place where you could get back there? Yeah, once you get a taste of winning, it's it's hard to even imagine going to somewhere that that wouldn't be, you know, in the in those last few weeks. Um, it really wasn't even an option for me. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't consider anybody that wasn't going to be in that position, or didn't want to be in that position, and wasn't going to do everything they could to be in that position. So. Oh. This one is for Bobby and for Bruce. Of course, you got the big anchor for your pen now. How the uh, pen of the Giants is going to shape up now, in the sense that are you going to guys try to get somebody else? I mean, we're going to stay open-minded in terms of other options to strengthen our pen. I mean, we're, we've got a number of non-roster guys coming in that will compete. Uh, we'll continue to build the competition. Uh, you know, very, you know, very open-minded. Yet our, our focus on what we have is encouraging. I mean, with with Law and Strickland and Osich and Okert and and Will Smith and and Garen and Contos, it's a good core, and we've got a lot to work with. Uh, you know, we saw improvements. Uh, you know, even in the second half from, from these young guys. So there's a lot to like. Uh, at the same time, it's going to be a competition. There's going to be clearly uh, roles will have to get defined. But there's certainly front runners within this group, and, and that's that's good for us. I don't have any, I, he's right on there. And, uh, you know, I, I you know as I said, uh, yeah, that closer makes, makes the rest of the uh, – uh, bullpen so much better because you, you are able to, to put them in their defined roles and uh, uh, and I think with the weapons we have uh, you know three good left handers and, and uh, on the right side I think we saw uh, Law uh, his improvement and uh, Hunter Strickland and and uh, so I, I'm very confident that you know we're we're gonna have a good bridge uh, you know to uh, to mark there and uh, it's uh, it, it's just going to stabilize uh, our pen you know having somebody at the back end like uh, like mark 
Mark, we've heard and read a lot about how closely you pay attention to body science and, and stuff like that. How, how much of that would you attribute to the success that you've had the last couple of years? And, and in what way, do you think? Uh, I think it all just ties in together, just kind of the mindset and, and making sure that I can do everything that I can to, to be the best. Um, just kind of your lifestyle. Um, but specifically, I don't know, you know, if I can say one thing made a huge difference, but um, the little things that, that you learn and, and you get better at, it's at this point, you know, it's a small percentage of, of things that are going to help you, but that tenth of a percent can be a lot, you know, so to speak. Take one one more question. Or none. Great. Thank you so much.